Early in the build phase, I ran into an issue I probably should have corrected on the spot, but I didn't and decided I was going to press on and figure out a solution later. Well, it's later. In the design phase, I decided I was going to use these quarter inch push to connect bulkheads for the top of my calcium reactor chamber. One was to remove any trapped CO2 gas at the top of the chamber, and the other one was simply just to feed the tank. Well, if you notice on this back side, that bulkhead protrudes quite a bit past the bottom of this plate, which means that CO2 gas would have to fill the top of that chamber up until this point before it essentially starts to suck that CO2 out. Well, that wasn't good enough for me. So what I decided I was going to do was figure out a way to remove the gas as close as I can to the top and get it sucked into this bulkhead. I turned to my 3D printer, I designed this guy, and it has six little barbs that come out, and each one of them has a hole that is runs all the way through the body of it, and it's maybe hard to tell. I'm going to have to probably show a... Um, there you go. Maybe I'll just do a 3D video of it in the in on the CAD. But that that two or that runs through there, and any gas that's trapped above this is going to get sucked into one of these suck six holes and pulled inside. I cut this quarter inch rigid PVC tube that fits inside that little slot in the middle, and it's hard to see again, but there's actually four holes just below where this is going to sit that is going to pull from four different sections in that uh, inside there. So this is going to fit inside and it's just fits in there snugly because you're going to have, you're going to want to be able to remove that because the push to connect is going to hold that tube into place. So that means that this will have to screw down into it and then rest at the right right level inside that little slot. So I designed this so that this nut can fit in here snugly. I probably won't glue it unless it falls off in the chamber over time. I don't know, we'll see, but if anything, I can just simply just put a dab of super glue or something to hold it in place. So this guy will get fit into a slot like so. I got that quarter inch rigid tube seated all the way down and all I got to do now is get this to line up over top of that and then catch the threads and tighten down and as I tighten I'll squish that gasket and now instead of pulling gas to this point it's going to suck in and, and maybe leave two or three millimeters of gas trapped in the top of that chamber so that was my solution to the problem again i probably should have redid this whole thing and put this quarter inch barb in this place but i didn't so i got to uh, over engineer it which i always enjoy to do well thanks for watching